the field's under yellow, all caught up behind the pace car, and Elliott's car takes a sharp right turn, bit of smoke there, and pounds the wall. Somebody must have run into the back of him, because, I mean, the car just took an abrupt left-hand turn. Look at everybody scrambling. That was Our behind right -hand him. right-hand turn, I'm sorry. Bill Elliott, look at the damage to the right front of his Wood Brothers Ford, is uh, pushed back to the pit area. Dick, what happened? Well, Bill Elliott's transmission locked up, Mike, and when it did, it absolutely locked the back wheels, and that spun him out. Wow, wow. I guess what he was doing, he's probably downshifting uh, because we were under caution, and when he downshifted and uh, maybe let the clutch out, the thing locked up and just spun him into the uh, outside wall. Truex, trouble off two. There's the wall sitter. If he wrecks that car, he's got to go to the back. We spun, guys. Hang on. That car had been falling off the pace. I believe the car had gotten uh, tightened up on him. He just couldn't get off the corner like he had. Now, you better watch out. You tear those tires up and rip the fenders off of that thing. It's got David Reagan in the six car tucked right up under. But I, I believe this car just, yeah, it's just, see, it takes a little. You saw him have to run up the hill. Had to get out of the throttle, and the six car got into him, David Reagan. He gets down in the bumps, down low, and turns uh, off a of turn two here. You'll see the one car start to walk. See that? It lost the tail. The six looks under him, gets into him. See, it, it really walks up the track right there, like it could have a low right front. That's no fault of the six car, David Reagan. Uh, one car when Truex had to get out of the gas. Here we go, guys. Big wreck. Got a car off the track. Got one in the wall. Casey Mears in the 07 spins. Joey Logano is trying to get through. Michael's there in the 55. Wall trip. Get rolling there. Come on. And okay. another one gets the wall in the back stretch. That might have been Keselowski. Oh, there goes David Reagan off the track. See a gaggle going into turn one down here. They just try to get three, four wide, looks like. Oh, Looks Kenseth like it all Hornish. started. The 77 to 17 got together. John Andretti up there in the 34 car. He was a victim. Logano and got into the back of the 07 there of Casey Mears. Turned just him around. Chain reaction from there. I think the yeah. 27 starts up the hill right there. Kind of takes up a lot of racetrack. Chokes everybody down here, and uh, it's just one of those big chain reaction wrecks you see at uh, Daytona, Talladega. Casey Mears has come to the pit. Here's another look. Boy, Sam Hornish, see him down on the apron. He gets through barely. Let's ride with Casey Kane. Hey, wide, ride right alongside. Check up, check up, check up, check up. Here we are, here we are. Boy, what a nice job for a driver who had no place to go. You know, guys, I think let's let's take a look from Joy Logano, the 20 car. Need to go low. They're going to wreck. Go low, go low, go low, go low. So I'm getting the back of Casey Mears, and the 07 just barely touched him, and he'll go to the apron and slide by. Good job. I saw that coming. Coming to the white flag this time. He's got to sum up where he can make that move on that 24 car. And I believe Logano would be more than happy to go with him if he decides to make the run. I'm sure Tony's in there giving him hand signals. Stick with me, kid, and I'll show you how to win this race. Just remember... Tony Stewart drove that 20 car for 10 years for Joe Gibbs Racing, and now he's looking at it in his rearview mirror. Nemechek right behind Riggs as they cross the line. Back Here we the go. the transfer spot. Here we go. They got a little run. I tell you, they got back just enough. I believe they can do it. If Logano can get up there, but he's back just far enough that it keeps Tony from getting that good run. No help. No help. No help. Gordon, I have to protect the bottom. The Logano man. gets kicked to the outside. Oh, not coming to you. Marola coming for third. Jeff Gordon trying to hang on for the lead and the win. Jeff Gordon's got this under control. He'll, He'll win this right thing. Here. Tony Stewart's going to run second again. And who's going to make the show? Gordon wins it, and Riggs is in for Tommy Baldwin's startup team that came down here unsponsored. Scott Riggs Look at is this. in the Look Daytona at this. 500. Yes. Man, that's what I'm talking about, about starting off 2009. Uh, who says we can't win? Uh, I'm so fired up about this year and this uh, this new DuPont Chevrolet. Um, you know, just, just the way it looks, the way it feels, uh, the whole team has got the same attitude on board with them this year. And I'm ex really excited about the Daytona 500 after that race. What a great race between me and Stuart and Jimmy and Jamie and uh, 
Oh, man, all those guys were just putting on one heck of a race. It feels absolutely awesome. I mean, I feel like we just won the race there. Uh, I mean, just my hat's off to all these guys. They, uh, they, a lot of volunteers that work so hard uh, come in just, to, just because of the faith they have in Tommy and each other. And, uh, man, it's the racing drug that all of us are addicted to. That's what kept these guys going and kept them pushing forward. And uh, just proud of them. You know, Tommy said we had a really good car. Uh, it didn't really didn't show itself until we got into a pack and could show how, how it pulled up and was really strong. So, man, I'm just uh, I'm elated. We got ourselves in a, in a tough position, but with the team just starting out, I'm really proud of all my guys. Uh, uh, a lot of good things to look forward to. You know, we started off way too loose there, and then at the end we got the car a lot better. That last lap I had the perfect run lined up on uh, on Scott Riggs on the 36, and the 26 slid up in front of me there, and it just it killed all my momentum. So. Uh, I, had, I thought it was perfect. We were lined up. I could have shot by him in, uh, in, all, in an instant, and it's all gone.